his good pleasure. Proverbs 11 verse 20 He delights in those whose ways are blameless. And as we meditated on those words, Margaret and I felt that the Lord was saying, Lean on me, beloved. Let me take your anxieties and your burdens, for I want you to walk through this earthly life with a gladsome heart and a light step, holding in your hand and in your heart the lamp of my burning word to light up the way for others. Be ever about my business and my praise. Don't rely on the praise of others, but keep your eyes and your desires fixed on me at all times. Cast from yourselves all that has no place in my kingdom. Hate that which I hate and love and cling to that which I love. For you are my children and each one of you has the bearing of a prince. Discern true meekness and humility. Don't seek great things for yourself. Press in to know me and in knowing me, rest securely in the freedom that I give to you. For indeed you should bear yourself as a prince, since all things are yours in my beloved son. Believe that you too are beloved. This won't puff you up or make you arrogant, but it will make you secure in whom and in what you are, because you're brought into the place of my good pleasure, and so you may expect answers to your prayers, and you also have the right to expect to hear my voice speaking to you. Make every effort to obtain my praise. Seek to be a faithful and honest son, doing what I give you to do and seeking from me the way in which it should be done. Let my word live within your heart and let love for me guide and direct you as you seek first my kingdom and my glory. Let's pray together. Father, we do ask that indeed we may walk in ways of righteousness and peace, that we may walk in truth and holiness all the days of our life. We want to please you. We want our lives to give you pleasure. We're conscious, Lord, of our many sins, but our trust is in your precious blood shed for us, and our hope is in what your Spirit works upon us in our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.